Making a new profile picture has never been easier. Now, with the help of AI, we can turn ordinary photos of ourselves into highly realistic AI renditions. Yes, that is my real body. We'll get there. To do this, you will need two tools, Ramini and Photoshop. And honestly, you don't even really need Photoshop. So let's check out Ramini. AI photo and video enhancer in one click. So personal is $7 a week, business is 10 a week. A little steep, but from what I've seen, this could be pretty helpful. I'm gonna just enable the free trial here. Okay, so we got the free membership here. So it looks like for videos, we have a max of 480 seconds and 480 megabytes. Let's start with the video enhance. Okay, so we'll wait here for a little bit. Holy sh- This is- Am I seeing this right? Okay, so here is the before, you know, not great. Here is the after. Wow, that's pretty cool. Look at the lips, look at the nose. Everything just becomes way, way sharper. Even the hair looks fuller. Okay, so that is, that is pretty damn cool. I expect in the future, this will be something that is super, super sweet. If you have a really short video, like under 30 seconds, and you just want to make your face look super smooth, then throw it in here. In fact, I'm going to throw this footage in there right now. And this is what it looks like now. Pretty cool. So it's not practical completely yet. I couldn't put a super long video in here. It would just take too long. I mean that eight second clip took four minutes, but I am definitely excited in this one for the future. Now I want to try it on a photo. I'm also at the same time going to edit the same photo in Photoshop and see what it looks like compared to what I do. I, I don't really see much difference here. Maybe we beautify it? Movie. See what that does. Apply. Okay, so that definitely brightened the smile. Also added more contour on my cheek here. So that's that versus the one that I edited. So as you can see, kind of slimmed my face down a little bit. My face is kind of fat. So I mean, this is this is pretty crazy. Now this next part is what I'm really interested in. The generative AI. So let's go to AI photos. And as you can see, it's available on mobile only. So I'm gonna head over to my phone now and show you how it works. Download the app, open it up, get started, give access to photos. Okay, let's check out this bottom bar. So we just tried out the enhance. Let's try the AI photos now. Generate my photos. Okay, so we need good photos for this to work. Good lighting, face clearly visible, no sunglasses, and only yourself in the pictures. Upload selfie photo library okay so I added my photos here I put a slight blur on them because I'm shy like that let's continue I'm male okay now you pick a model image so I've seen a lot of these trending on TikTok with the baby one or professional looking photos for LinkedIn and stuff but I'm gonna scroll down past these I like this middle green one here let's use this model image your photos are ready take a look so this took about 10 minutes got it left trash it's like tinder for yourself, it's kind of weird. Uh, I don't like that. I don't think it really looks like me. That, that, I do not like this one. This one, I just, it just doesn't really look like me. That's probably the closest so far, but again, I don't really see it. Wow, my head is not that big. They made me look like Mega Mind. That, come on. Come on. I didn't really like any of these. I'm going to change the model image. Use this model image. Working on your photos. Okay, estimated time is lower. Much lower on this one. How it works is once it trains it off of the initial batch of photos that you upload, you can keep generating photos and it'll be a lot faster than the first time you did it. Okay, so this one took about four minutes. Not, I just don't really think it looks like me. Second one, that's a weird head shape. It's closer though. No, no, no. No, none of these. Okay, I think I'm gonna take some some new photos and try this out again, but this is not going well. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> okay, those are, that's not actually, actually how I'm gonna take them. Just, just thought that'd be funny. All right, let's, let's take them. Let's actually take them. <sighs> okay, how do I? How do I change the images now? Where do I go? I don't want Barbie filters. I've been looking at this for like five minutes and I can't figure out how to upload new photos. Okay, I figured it out. You have to delete the app and then re-download it and then it'll let you. There might be a better way. I just, I couldn't find it. Maybe in settings. Delete AI model. So that's how you do it as well. There are two ways that you can do it. You can delete the model or like me delete the entire app okay let's play around with this one 
I'm gonna go back and try that, that green one again. So I forgot to record it, but look at what we got. I think these are a little better. This is me if I was a super alpha male. Okay, you can see my pecs. This one kind of looks like me. Yeah, that's pretty good. This one also kind of looks like me. This one also kind of looks like me. Would you believe it? So those are pretty good. I also must say though, I took these into Photoshop after and I added like a green tint. And so I, I manipulated them a little bit after, but they still look the same. And this is insane that AI can do this. So let me show you what I did in Photoshop. This one I think was the one that looked most like me. So I'm just gonna show you that. This is before I made any edits to it at all. Then what I did is I came up here to the rectangular marquee tool, made a selection sort of on the border of this. Then I right clicked, select inverse, and then generative fill, I just did fill and boom. Like that's crazy. And then color fill, I added a soft light 67% color fill with this color right here on your screen if you wanna copy me, but maybe don't. Find your own color, it's fun. And then I also added a hue overlay just to mute those skin tones a little bit and I dropped that to 75%. This is a new profile picture for me. I like this. If my hair was like a little bit more, that is me. And then you just come up to file, export, save for web, and then you save it. And I'm gonna do AI 11. And then you can use that for any profile picture you want, but nobody will know except for you. That's pretty, it's a pretty cool app. I would recommend downloading it, even if it's just for the free trial. If you want to stick around, make sure to hit that sub button and drop a like if you enjoyed and learned anything. And I'll keep making content like this. AI is a new wave, I gotta say. It'll be very interesting to see what it does for photo and video and for creators. I'll see you in the next one.